the rising cost of epinephrine auto injectors that people use during a severe allergic reaction has driven some people to create a DIY version. In this case, we're talking about mathematician Michael Lawfer claims that with two weeks of research and prototyping, he was able to build an epinephrine auto injector for about 35 bucks. He created a how-to video online that's since gone viral, which leads us to two separate conversations. The first is, how can a dude who's a mathematician create a product that's 35 bucks when the pharmaceutical companies charge $600 plus. Well, it tells for two a things. He's a smart dude, <laughs> and the companies out there are gougers. I, yes. I mean, they're ripping people off. You're right. And this is a life-saving medication and tool that, that should not be priced people out that need it. And it's, I agree. it's scary only because, look, DIY, when it comes to medications, I don't like the idea because let's just say you're having a life-threatening allergic reaction and your DIY doesn't work. Well, what is the risk? You die. Okay, I don't right. like that. And you can get in trouble if you the dosage is I not agree. right, especially yes. if you have underlying heart conditions. I mean, it's not something you just randomly use without knowing dosages and how much you really need. I agree. I, I feel like DIY and medication shouldn't necessarily be in the same sentence. Like you shouldn't probably be trying not. to, yeah, you, probably not. Can we not applaud this individual for highlighting a broken system that is focused on one thing and one money. thing only nowadays is making money. money. Our yeah. healthcare yeah. system has lost true. its way. I am so sick and tired of covering more and more stories where it's all about the stock price. It's all about how much money the hospital's making. It's all about money, 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 money. And I'm telling you, if this guy in his own little lab can make it for 35 bucks, imagine how cheap it is with mass production to create an affordable treatment that where everyone still makes money, but why not have a system in place where you charge a reasonable amount for a medication that's not expensive, the company makes money, the patient gets their life saved, and we all win. We're not there at all. We're, and this guy, what he's showing us is we are so far off. The gap is, is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a single dose. So and I know for a fact that you can get EpiPens across the border in Canada, in Europe, for a lot less than, than they're charging here in the United States. And in 2009, a two-pack of EpiPens cost $100, and now that cost is $600. Well, what, what people don't realize is that somewhere along the way, doctors lost control of health care. Can we all admit that? Yeah, Doctors absolutely. have become, quite frankly, no longer the voices that drive health care. It is... It is executives, it is people who have wonderful business acumen, who make a lot of money, make their companies a lot of money, and unfortunately, the patient suffers, the system suffers, and once you create a system that enriches companies or individuals, it's really hard to take that power back and say, you know what, we're gonna go back to charging reasonable amounts of money the for product. medications like yep. An auto injector. But then people think, like, they think it's the whole healthcare system, but it's really like, if this is the healthcare system, it's like these people. And then they're making those decisions, and then they're keeping all the money. So it's not, it's not everybody. It's not. Oh, I agree. Yeah, That's the beauty everybody. of our healthcare system. And I still believe that when you walk into a doctor's office and you're seeing a doctor or a nurse or a patient care tech, that those individuals, that is still to me the core. The, the inventions in our society, the creation of new treatments, that's all wonderful. My biggest issue, it really is getting back to epinephrine. It just doesn't make sense doesn't. That, that these auto injectors are as expensive um, as they are.